Have you ever wondered about the second shortest period known for any comet, the one named after Johann Franz Anka? What if I told you that its discovery was an adventurous journey? Our tale begins in 1786 with Pierre Michan, a French astronomer who first observed this mysterious comet. However, it was not until 33 years later, in 1819, that Johann Franz Encke, a German astronomer, performed a series of calculations. These calculations were crucial in determining the comet's orbit and its recurrent appearances every 3.3 years. Encke's rigorous mathematical work and his persistent observations paid off. His findings were groundbreaking, leading to the official recognition of this celestial body. It was a significant moment in the history of astronomy. In honor of his contributions, the comet was aptly named after him. And thus, the comet was christened as Enki's Comet, forever etching Enki's name in the annals of astronomy. So, where does Enki's Comet come from and how does it move in our vast cosmos? Well, let's take a cosmic journey, shall we? Enki's Comet hails from the icy Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system that stretches beyond the orbit of Neptune. It's a place filled with remnants from the birth of our solar system over four and a half billion years ago. Picture it as a cosmic freezer storing comets, including the one we're discussing today. But how did it end up in the inner part of our solar system you ask? Well the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, with their immense gravitational pull, nudged it inward. Imagine it like a cosmic game of billiards with planets serving as the players, and comets as the balls on the table. Now, Enke's comet resides in the inner part of the solar system. It travels in an elliptical orbit, a path that is elongated and oval-shaped. This journey takes it between the Sun and the orbit of Jupiter making it a frequent visitor to our neighborhood. And here's an interesting fact, Enki's comet has the shortest known orbital period for any comet, just 3.3 years. Yes, you heard that right, it whizzes around the Sun in a little over three years. That's quicker than a presidential term. Enki's comet with its short orbit is a frequent visitor to our inner solar system, a celestial nomad journeying between the Sun and the orbit of Jupiter. Now that we know about Enki's comet and its journey you must be wondering, can we see this celestial traveler? Well, the answer lies in the comet's brightness or lack thereof. You see Enki's comet while a fascinating celestial body isn't usually visible to the naked eye. This is primarily due to its relatively low brightness, which makes it a bit of a challenge to spot amidst the sea of stars that adorn our night skies. However, don't let this deter you from trying to catch a glimpse of this celestial traveler. With the aid of a telescope, viewing Enki's comet becomes a whole lot easier, especially during a specific period in its orbit around the Sun. This period, known as perihelion, is when Enki's comet makes its closest approach to the Sun. During perihelion, the comet's ices evaporate under the heat of the Sun, causing the comet to glow brighter. This increased brightness, coupled with the magnification provided by a telescope, makes it possible for us to observe Enki's comet from our humble abode here on Earth. So, while Enki's comet may not be the brightest star in our sky, with a little help, we can witness its journey across the cosmos. Enki's comet, a celestial nomad with an intriguing history, isn't it? We've journeyed together through the discovery of this comet, first sighted by Pierre Machin, and later named after Johann Franz Enke, who determined its short period orbit. A journey that takes Enki's comet around the sun once every three and a third years, the shortest known orbit of any comet. This cosmic traveler originates from the icy realms of the Kuiper Belt, a region filled with remnants from the solar system's formation. And what about viewing this celestial spectacle? Well, Enki's comet isn't easily spotted with the naked eye, but with a telescope, you might just catch a glimpse of it when it's near perihelion, its closest approach to the sun. As we gaze at the night sky let's remember the fascinating journey of Enki's comet, a testament to the wonders of our cosmos. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.